an end when all at once his past caught up with him. I got into the technical test of Hades 2 and I was super excited. So I booted the game and suddenly, man, hearing the music, oh man, how I miss playing Hades again. And I got goosebumps in the title screen itself because the music was so goddamn amazing. So the first thing I did is open the options menu and wow, the accessibility option is quite nice even though there are not many things here but the auto fire which you can hold the attack button to automatically attack is a really nice touch to the game. So I will not be tired after playing just a single run. Because I remember back in Hades 1, uh, I used to press the, the attack button all over the place like and after just a single run, I got tired and I had to put the controller down and basically rest. But I really want to play Hades, man. So after that, I pressed the new game button and wow, what I felt immediately was the movement and the attacks. They feel so much smoother. Like it is less clunky in a way. Wait, clunky is not the right word. It's like when you play the first Hades, it feels a bit more rough. I don't know. Man, it doesn't really describe it, huh? I really don't know how to explain it, and but here's my thought on why this happens. Maybe because in this game, the animation in the game, like for attacking, has more frames. That's why whatever you do in this game is smoother or less rough. Like when you move or attack, dodge, sprint, yeah, they have sprint, I'll get into that later on. And secondly, for achieving this uh, smoothness, I think they polish the game engine and the game itself. That's basically it. What I noticed next is the enemies are a lot more than Hades 1 in one arena. I don't know how they did this but that's a good thing because I like hitting more enemies and if there is more enemies the satisfaction is more. And no it's not making the game feels more unbalanced because we also got so many more resources to defeat the enemies. The change is of course the MP they added to this game. It makes us freely use our spells and not just a one time cast like in Hades 1. So every charge attack that Melione performs, it will consume mana. And the damage is so goddamn high and mana will recharge after each arena unlike HP. Yeah, you cannot recharge HP. This is a roguelike game. I think this is a really good change because it adds more dynamic and combos to the game. Not just that, they added sprint like I said in the earlier beginning of the video. At first I thought this wasn't a thing until I figured out that you can hold the dodge button and it will sprint for you. And when the sprint has gained an upgrade, it consumes mana which is weird but I get it why. Because if it doesn't, it will be super unbalanced. And there is something exciting about discovering new gods or boons every time in Hades. And this game doesn't disappoint. Every design of gods or someone that will give us boons along the way is so goddamn gorgeous. Take a look at this man. Oh, up to something, but not even Athena knows what. It's it's fucking beautiful, right? It's whoo! See, everything in this game is just gorgeous. Not a single one that I dislike. I think it's because of the art style. The art style in this game is a beauty on its own. Nothing over the top, but the details in each character is well taught and everything is well wellly well goodly I don't know how to explain it like goodly drawn. I mean well drawn. <laughs> what am I saying man? What am I saying? For progression, first thing we have these cards to unlock, then we can equip it the way we want, but you cannot equip it all because Melione has this cost number cap and each card has their own cost. I'm not saying Melione's cost cap cannot be upgraded, yes it can, but I am still early in the game that I don't know if it can be upgraded until every card can be equipped or not, so keep that in mind. For now we only have two weapon varieties, uh, the witch staff and the twin blades, nothing much but it is still very fun to use both of them and depending on the game I think we are going to have six weapon varieties because there are six circles of weapons on the floor. And what I think is neat is that you can see your items or loot in the dungeon. Yeah I don't know why you can loot either in this game but I think it is a nice touch to the game. Speaking of loot, there is gathering tools man. Like. What, what am I man? A farmer? Or am I a demigod? Maybe I am a farmer. Huh. Visuals and performance. Visually it is better in all aspects. The environment has more details like the grass, even the ground floor is so good. I think they added more shaders to all the characters. And the colors man, it just pops. I know the color is a bit greenish, bluish, but damn. 
I can distinguish between everything in this game. Comparing this to the technical test of Hades 1, uh, like before it was on Steam, like the Epic Games one, okay? Like this is super polished for an early access game. Well, maybe an early access game should be this polished, and yet what we are getting for most of the games, for early access games, are trash, okay? This is how early access game should be. And the performance too, man. I have no hiccup or whatsoever, everything from the first till the end of my PlayStation, probably around three to four hours. I don't find any stutters or lag or crash. Now that is a great achievement. It's really good, but I did get stuck in a rock. I know I don't have the clip here, but yeah, I did get stuck into the rock and I cannot move and I have to press dodge to move but I think that's pretty much it that's the only bug that I encountered for now so all in all the performance for an early access game really really good of course the next one we have to talk about the sound design again the voice acting in this game is spot on it's just beautiful man it's phenomenal okay Damn, I can hear them talk all day, man. It's, you know, that eargasm for my ears. Yeah, I really don't know how to describe it, but every pronunciation, everything, every word is so clear. Every character has an accent. Who dares disturb my eternal rest? You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Speak. That was pretty decent, right, Mel? That may be pushing it. Okay, if I call you witch like that. Oh my god, it is so good, so fucking good. Every voice actor in this game is so talented. I love it. Even when I played Hades 1 for the first time, I fell in love with the voice acting, and that's also one of the main reasons why I love playing Hades. Well, that's basically my first impression of the game. I don't have any hiccups, but this is definitely a good game, so if you do want to buy it, uh, for now, I, I am recommending it, man. I am recommending it. I really cannot wait for version 1.0 because, man, if an early access game is this polished, I don't know how it will be for version 1.0. And I am super excited to see that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, this two man, it is something to look forward to. It is. We'll find a way to wake you, oh sleep. I promise. My altar. Had mistress lent me the arcana. The sorceress. 